So, hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D. And welcome to Friday Share a Beer Show for uh, January 12th, 2018. Uh, I am your host. You got Mark here right now. He is the co-host of this show as well. Yeah. Helps keep this uh, wheel turning, I guess. Uh, yeah. Keep keep the bus on the road as much as I can. It, it, it keep the yeah. Sometimes there's just no help in it, and you just kind of kind of help steer it to right. just, yeah. a, a different road. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so while it's while it's going off the road, you know, you just kind of off the rails there. You just kind of mm -hmm. help steer it to where you know it can get on a on a different road, going somewhere uh, positive. We hope. So, are you having any beer right now, Mark? Yeah, I just. Uh, I've got two. I'm going to start off with the uh, the less uh, bitter one. And this might, I don't know, I, I'm sure you've come across a couple of these in your uh, travels as a driver. Truck Stop Honey. Have you ever come oh, across wow. a Truck Stop Honey? <laughs> wow. This is the uh, this is a, from Back 40 Beer in uh, Gadsden, Alabama. And there's wow. Crusher. He likes beer. So he's, uh, yeah. um, it's a brown ale. Uh, with honey, they added honey to it, um, and I got a six pack of it. This is the second can. Well, that that popped up right away. Um, okay. Yeah, you've got. This is interesting. <clears throat> There's Rover Truck. I just typed in truck and the untapped. It, okay. It, the top three were Rover Truck. You got truck mm -hmm. truck stop honey, and Mother Trucker Pale Ale. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, all right. Let me put that there. Um, yeah. That, so, that's a brown ale you're drinking. Mm hmm. Yeah, with honey added, I think. Yeah. I can't remember if I. Yeah, I did. I did check into it. I gave it three. What did I give it? I gave it three and a half. I mean, so it's. Yeah. It's solid. Wow. What an interesting beer. Well, it's interesting to me because I'm a truck driver, for those that don't know. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm just, I mean, is that an actual truck stop honey? You know, you got your, um, those certain women that, that tend to frequent truck stops occasionally? I don't know. Oh, you know. no, those those are a different breed. But, yeah, okay, you've, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you've got the, you know, the, well, this is old school now. But, yeah, the, a lot of the waitresses would call you honey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. So, there it is. I mean, it's it's kind of a uh, copper. Hey, not you're going to have to keep brown, crusher. But, Look at that. Crusher's ready to crush it. Yeah. He, he, he likes the foam, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I think he prefers stouts and he doesn't do IPAs, but stouts and brown ales, yeah. Yeah, he's he's Stuff a little sweet, bit right? of a, a pinky out type cat. Yeah, he's a pinky you know. out cat, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's a good um it's a good beer. I mean, and it's it was reasonably priced. I think it was seven ninety nine for the six hey, pack here. Yeah, that's and that's, um, that's a fantastic you know, price. It's days. a good solid brown ale. Um yeah, I can't argue with it at all. Very, very tasty. We've so got. Good, uh, I'm gonna look this one up. This is pretty cool. I'll share the screen with everybody here. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, twenty-two thousand total ratings on here. One hundred and sixty-two yep. in the last thirty days. Six yep. percent ABV, fourteen IBUs. Uh, Truck Stop Honey is a medium-bodied English brown ale brewed with Alabama wildflower honey. Yep. Roasted malts and fresh hops. Uh, the balance of sweet wildflower honey uh, and earthy hop aromas come through in every batch. Yep. So, no, it's good. It, uh, it does have a slight fl flavor of honey, malty. It's a good beer. Oh, you know, the, the, the Anna's drinking this beer, too. Uh -huh. that's, that's, you know, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, so it's a good uh... It's a good beer, and then I've got an IPA after this one. So, I, I never thought to uh, look up any beers that might be, uh, you know, of a trucking sort of mm -hmm. name, and they, they they've got a bunch of them, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at this. We got uh, let's see all variants. Let's see, vanilla bean truck stop honey, mm -hmm. uh, truck stop honey and oak barrels truck stop. Well, it's all okay. So it's all variants of that same mm -hmm. truck. Okay. Um. Yeah, so it's just kind of like what we were talking about before. You know, you get a yeah. good beer, and it's just a base, and you just keep and you add to it. Yeah, keep you just, doing doing versions of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Which is, you know, you got to maximize that. Mm -hmm. That the same thing that they do with that with the platforms now they like to call them you know with the same chassis basically mm -hmm. General Motors will come out with one and then they're gonna mm -hmm. make you know X Y Z and you mm -hmm. know body uh, with it so I'm kind of curious I want to I'm gonna type that in again uh, type truck in here I want to see this uh, mm -hmm. this mother trucker what, pale ale I want to see what this one's all about. Hey, look at this. This one's got decently rated too. Uh, ninety-eight. Uh, yeah, ninety-eight hundred total ratings on here. Cabo, that's in uh, North Carolina, I think. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a our hoppy pale ale is as all American as I forty. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that this is pretty cool, man. I'm gonna have to. Um, you know, do a more in-depth uh, search and see if I can't find one of these brews. Uh, you know, that's kind of cool, man. Mm -hmm. You know, do well, cool to me. Like I said, I'm a truck driver. I, you know, everybody else is going. Who gives a rip? Like, you know what I'm saying? The good thing, there's probably more truck-oriented beers in our financial planning. I'm sure. Uh, well, let's see, huh? Let, I mean, uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You type in money or finance or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm typing in financial. Dude, there's beer. Okay, yeah, this is crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I going to have to start collecting? We've got Financial District, Backlash okay. Beer Company, Coffee Peanut Porter, uh, Bull yeah. Moose Financial, Financial Groat, mm -hmm. Golden Ale, Financial <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> Four financial decisions. <laughs> There you go. No longer in production. Yeah, well, they made some bad but financial decisions. And that was a bad financial, exactly. Financial brews, mm -hmm. also no longer in production. Huh. Uh, Interesting. Uh, let's see what beers we got that start with money. There should be more. Uh, yeah, there's probably more. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, results for money, 15,000. So. Money IPO. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got Holy Grail. Money IPA, lawyers, guns and money, fire, mm -hmm. skulls and money, s'more money, s'more problems, <laughs> money like tree, that. still water. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, blood money, mm -hmm. uh, cash, cash money, blood. four hands. Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, clown shoes, man. Look at the, the piece mm -hmm. that money can't buy. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Big ass Big money ass stout, money too. Stout. <laughs> gotta love that oh look this one's literally got mind on my money look at they literally have got uh uh-huh on that one because they've got their label is money uh-huh martin house yeah. brewing company uh, huh. uh it actually has a decent rating too seven point uh -huh. uh, three point seven three rating inspired by one of our favorite mixed drinks this beer is pretty gangsta <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> awesome let me get a look at this label here check that out gin and juice and spiral and inspired ale made in Maybe texas, texas, by, texas texan. by yeah so uh pretty cool man right, yeah that was a good little idea right there yeah check that one okay. out okay cool. all right um and uh, did i mention i'm already, I, i'm having the uh it's one of the last of the uh 1933 repel reserve Mm -hmm. Amber loggers that I have, that Budweiser came out with. It's you know, it's actually a decent brew. It's it's mm -hmm. better than regular Bud. Let's put it that okay. way. I mean, I would but is it better like, than Bud American Ale or not? No, no. Okay, no. it's a different beer. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Uh, but American man, I really wish they'd bring that back. It was fantastic. It it had that <clears throat> that right amount of hop in there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think they considered it because they consider this. An American lager. I don't think they considered that one a lager. I think that was a uh, more of a pale ale, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hey, let me oh, look it up. Red, is it a red ale or something? Yeah, let me look I, it I up. I think you remember it as being kind of like a like an amber. You know, a little lighter than this, almost. You know, kind of in that. It could have been. Let's see. Uh. Where is it? American. 
Ooh, you know what? It's probably not even in here. But American Ale. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, uh, yeah, I'm not showing it. Huh. They haven't had it for a few years, huh? And it's been a bunch of years. Yeah. Because that beer came out. Uh, that beer came out literally like months before they were bought out. Mm hmm. And then, and then that's when they, when InBev took over, is when they got rid of that beer. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it in, in Untapped at least. I'm sure it'd be in the Google. You know what I'm saying? If, mm -hmm. I, if I looked it up, let me. I'm, I'm gonna look it up in the Google. I'm pretty curious. Uh, yeah, but American Ale. There we go. Uh, American Amber. Yep, Red American Ale. American Amber. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and for those that don't know what we're talking about, let me <clears throat> let me show you. It it was literally when this beer came out. Got it. I don't even think it was on the market a year. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it uh, came out just for. It was just man. It was it came and went, it, it, and it was such anticipation for. It. Anyway, this beer uh, from Budweiser was actually pretty darn decent. Uh, this was exactly the way it looked. Uh, you can see my review on it. One of my older reviews, uh, but you can see my review on it, and it, it was it was really, I was really amazed because it, it was a decent, it was really a decent brew. It really was. It mm -hmm. was all American ingredients, all American ingredients, and it was one of the last. It was supposed to be their crafty beer from mm -hmm. actual Budweiser, and it mm -hmm. was all American ingredients. There was no every ingredient was from uh, America. Yep. And it came and went. And I had uh, famously, I had cracked open that bottle on share beer, right? And oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the whole top of the bottle came off. Mm -hmm. uh, so I called, and I think I did I make that call online? Like, I, I think I made the call online. Um, yeah, that's and, right. And they sent you some stuff. Yeah. And they sent me two. Free coupons for more Bud American Ale, and they mm -hmm. sent me other. They sent me other stuff. Yeah, there, there was some other stuff in there, but uh, yeah. For for those that don't know, this was uh, Bud American Ale, and you can tell just by you know the looks of the beer, it was actually pretty good. And I, I remember it getting some decent reviews. Now, this was the kit I never got my hands on, and I was jealous that some people were getting this. And they didn't send me this. Um, mm -hmm. At the time, there was a lot of breweries sending me beer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were getting. Uh, and and so this is what that looked like. And then, uh, but yeah, I still I still a little chapped over that one because see, there's that glass. Yeah. <laughs> that glass. That would have sealed the deal for you yeah. there. You got the glass, man. Yeah, I still I still remember that because they they would advertise that glass and you could not get your hands on it. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's uh, so yeah. You know, for those that didn't know, um, that's that's the my favorite Budweiser ever. I, I've um, you know, I was really shocked when they came out with that beer. It was mm -hmm. really a really decent beer. I wonder why they stopped it or didn't sell enough of it. Probably. I I I just always assumed that since it was right there when they switched over to InBev, mm -hmm. you know, InBev took over. I just kind of assumed that that was. That was it. Like you're making an American beer, not no more, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, Belgian. <laughs> yeah. You can make an all Belgian beer. <laughs> yeah. No more all American beers. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. So hey, we got Tom in the chat. Mom's in the chat. Uh, Tom and mom. All right. Yeah, Tom and mom. And hey, CJ, mind your grandma, boy. And uh, we got Earth in there, and we got Craig. So, dilly oh. dilly to everybody, man. Um, yeah, dilly dilly. But we have no, we have no Neary, man. We've got, we've got the walk up music for Neary, though. Just in case he comes up. I'm the king of smoke. There is none higher. Sucker beer geeks should call me sire. Burn my kingdom, but it keeps fire. I won't stop smoking till I retire. Now I. Yeah, we don't want to <laughs> give you too much. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, but you just, just a little teaser here and there. You know what I'm saying? Just a little <laughs> teaser, that little little at a time. Um, yeah, <laughs> and so, that MC sounds 
dope. <laughs> yeah, he sounds pretty dope. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so I have the latest um, Alexa skills. Did you get your your list? Ah, I haven't looked at that email box yet, but I'm sure that they send it out like every week, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So the latest watch, Alexa, drum roll. Oh, Alexa, drum roll. Huh? Oh, that's pretty slick. Yeah, she can she can do a drum roll now. Uh, Alexa, volume eight. And so let's see, we've got uh, Alexa. How old are you? In human years, I'm three, and in dog and cat years, I'm twenty-eight. I think AI years are marked by nanoseconds, so that makes me like a scrillion. A scrillion. <laughs> scrillion. She used a scrillion for some other question that I asked her not too long ago. Okay. So I asked her, what is a scrillion? And yep. it, it's it's basically just like some crazy long number. Yeah. But it, it, Alexa, what is a scrillion? A scrillion is an unspecified large number used to indicate a very high amount. <laughs> so that's, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we would say a gazillion. That You know, for, for her, a scrillion is that, a, yeah. a gazillion. You know, a, 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 a scrillion gazillion dollars. That's what that is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I have to it's, check that. I'm going to have to check that out. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so you've got... Uh, uh, Check out Alexa, today's giveaway. Alexa, what's new with tell Alexa? me a ninja joke. What do you get when you cross a ninja with a squid? Disappearing ink. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> she, she, I, I asked her for one earlier, and she says, uh, uh, you know, the ninja joke, right? And she says, uh, what kind of shoes do ninjas wear? And, and she said, sneakers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? What are you drinking, my friend? I'm doing fabulous. I heard some excellent music, so I had to join. Oh yeah, yeah man. Yeah. See, that's that's what brought Tom in the show. <laughs> like the Pied Piper, it brings yeah. in all the beer geeks. Yeah, you, you hear a good you gear you hear a good MC rhyming like that, and that just attracts you, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't Everybody help down. it. Yeah, man. Thinking of, I mean, really? Did anybody watch the championship game? You know, the college championship game. Yeah. How come I was? How come that MC was not invited to be on stage with Kendrick Lamar? Ridiculous. That's what I wanted to know I for mean, that halftime show. And and I, I believe that MC is right there in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, it would have been a twenty minute drive. It could have been no. down there. You know, I I would have. Yeah, I wouldn't have even requested that big a limo. Really, I mean, you know, you know. yeah, not that big. I mean, you know, come on, you know, just yeah. just a taxi. Yeah, maybe yeah. just one of those big Lincolns for Christ's sake. You know, yeah. not even you know. <laughs> you know yeah. it, well you know it, he's probably a little um uh concerned about being in and he doesn't want to be around greatness as yeah. much well well you know you know you, you don't even really technically you know you're humble you know that mc is humble enough i i think that um, he would just settle for uber black that's you, true you know? yeah I mean, and, and, a, and a and a good ipa at the end i mean yeah. that's you know <laughs> a pretty humble guy from what i hear yeah. you know yeah, I mean, they could have really saved a lot, you know, and, and, and maximize their their financial dollar. That's right. Know? Yeah, they could have saved more money. Yeah. And they, more money. They could have thrown a, a financial in there. Uh, <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, did you hear um, on Dan Patrick they were playing uh, – oh, what's the name of that receiver? There's a receiver that literally came out with a, with a, with a rap single. And, oh, really? And, and in his rap single, yeah, he had like financial advice for his kids and everything like that. It was crazy. Oh, and it okay. was actually a good rhyme. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember who it was, but it, it was actually it was actually a good song. It actually was. Yeah. yeah. Had, so there's a, there's a guy who does. Um, he's like a he's not a financial planner, but he does. Um, like financial literacy, he helps people just you know get familiar with money, and he does. He's a former teacher, but he's a rapper. That's oh. his thing. So he does all his raps on music, and I mean on money and finances, and trying to educate kids and stuff on you know good financial, um, uh, you know good financial things. So it's kind of interesting. 
He's like the money. I don't know what's he called. Like the money rapper or something. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that that Dan Patrick was cracking me up, man. Because uh, you know, they had that they had that song on there, and it, it was actually pretty good. They played it several times. I think it was day before yesterday's show or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what were you drinking, Tom? Um, it's my second beer from this brewery, uh, Foundation, out of Maine. It's their oh. Riverton Flyer. It's a Pilsner. Oh, cool. Something simple. Nice pills in every once in a while, you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't want those crazy hops. Yeah. Foundation mm -hmm. from, from what brewery? Oh, they, they, they called Foundation. Foundation Brewing. Oh, oh, oh. It's their uh, Riverton Flyer. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, it's pretty old. It's like three months old, but it's, it's still kicking. It's still doing good. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll still take time to look it up here for a second. Yeah, it's the 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 reviews aren't uh, you know old. I mean, they they still hold true. Four thousand total ratings on here. One hundred and four in the last thirty days. Five point five percent ABV. Thirty one IBUs. Wow, Tom, look at you—a three point yeah. five nine rating. Maybe Someone asked, "What's his lowest beer?" This has got to be close. It's got to be. Yeah, I had the cores. The cores original. That's really good too. That's, That's true. Is is Coors okay? We're looking that up. I think Coors is like a three, isn't it? Coors original. Two seven one. Yes. Yeah. That's a yes. solid beer, though. Yeah, I like it's, that. Beer. It's not mm -hmm. bad. You know what? I have to admit, man. Now, um, since I revisited Schlitz, <laughs> dude, Schlitz crushes all those kind of big crafty beers that mm -hmm. we like to talk about. You know, the Paps and the Coors and all that. Dude, revisit Schlitz again. Next time you're shopping beers, I'm all of a sudden finding Schlitz everywhere here. Um, mm -hmm. I think, who who has the rights to that? Is it Miller? Uh, it Miller so. Coors make that? I, I don't think, think I've ever had Schlitz, to be honest. Um, it's, there's a company that's been buying up. They bought up Schlitz. They bought up PBR. They oh, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. AMs, I think. Is it Heilman? Heilman Brewing? I don't know. But they've been buying up, like, the those old um, brands and the recipes with them. And mm -hmm. um, I think it's someone out of out of Wisconsin. Uh, is it Heilman? I don't know. See if I can find it. Old style is Heilman, I think. But, yeah, if you, if you look up Schlitz, it'll probably say the, who the brewer is. Yeah, I'm looking them up. I'm I'm googling right away, googling away right now. Um, let's see. Uh, let me let me let me. Uh, Oasis Beverages. Oasis 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 Beverages. Is that who it is? It says something uh, about them. I don't know if it's. I guess they're out of Russia. Huh. Pabst. Pabst now produces the recently relaunched uh, Schlitz Gusto beer and Old Milwaukee. Okay. All right. So they do Schlitz, Pabst, and Old Milwaukee. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, those are all – I mean, I like – PBR is pretty good. Schlitz is, I think, a little better. And Old Milwaukee is – it's better than Natty, that's for sure. So mm – -hmm. <laughs> But maybe not that not that natty uh, hurricane plus or whatever that one we saw we saw on Tuesday. Those are the type of beers that everyone knows about, which is nice mm -hmm. if you're buying it. You yep. can easily, you not easily, but I don't know. It's it's easy <clears throat> to get out there. Yeah, if you if you happen to be in the beer store, I would love to hear other people's opinion um, you know, on it. But uh uh it I mean, I found it to be because I've bought it. You know, I bought it that first time, bought a single, really enjoyed it, and I've mm -hmm. bought it now a few times since. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I mean, it's it's, you know, it's just one of those. You're like, yeah, man, damn, you know, pretty good. It's a good football beer. Yeah, 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 yes. yep. yep. A good football beer, a good fishing beer, a good, you know. Just, just one of those kind of really good, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it, you know, just um, all together. It's, it'd be kind of fun to just buy a six pack of kind of everything, 
you know, go ahead and get you a six pack of Paps. Go ahead and get you a six pack of uh, Schlitz, a six pack of mm-hmm. Coors, and and yep. Oh, yeah, you, you know, you just got mute. Yeah, yeah, you're back. See what you finish first, right? See which one you like better. Yeah, <laughs> that's the <a> test. <laughs> Because you really don't know until they're all in front of you, and you just you, the mm-hmm. one you the most. Did my sound go crazy again, or, or it just, went off for like five seconds? But okay, yeah. yeah so that it's it, it, it just went completely. Blank. Oh, there's the man right now. There we go. Hey, we got we've got Neary's walk up music. <laughs> And he can't log on. Oh. oh, yeah, that was a problem for me, too. I had to go into Google Plus. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, and if you can get into into the Google Plus, um, then uh, I guess that's the way to get in nowadays is through the Google Plus link. Mm-hmm. Much more secure nowadays, right? Oh, so okay, so he's at oh he's at work, so that's his. Oh, okay. They won't mind. Yes. Yeah, they, I mean, they love smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch. Um, uh, Alexa, say hello in Deutsch. Hello, guten Tag, service and Grüß Gott. Ah, see, boom. <laughs> we've, we've got our own interpreter here now, man. We're all over it. Uh, uh, Alexa, say, serve me a beer in Deutsch. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh, boo. You know? <laughs> I was reading something, and supposedly there's a certain phrase you can say to Siri, and if Alexa's in the background, she'll reply. Oh, Ooh. really? That'd be kind yeah, of Yeah, cool. it was something weird. I forgot. I got what. both of them right here. Right, I want a cage match. Hey, Siri. Siri. Hello. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Say hi to Alexa. Which Alexa? Alex Avigato. Oh my God! Now she's going through my whole damn. <laughs> Never mind. She's blowing this up. <laughs> <laughs> she's going through my whole contact list. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and there he said, "Yes, Guten Tag." <laughs> so. Uh, it, 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 now I did. I don't remember getting another uh, financial uh, clarity podcast this week. No, the financial clarity podcast is on a uh, winter break. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Someone okay. Now that that reminds me because someone brought up a suggestion, and I meant to bring it up. I think already for two shows, and I haven't brought it up. But okay, I'm glad you brought that up. Someone suggested having seasons to the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know a lot of podcasts do that. Like, you know, they'll do like 10 shows and call it season one, another 10 call yeah. it season two. Yeah. Someone suggested doing seasons, and then that way I could start the numbers all over again. Oh, okay. Would would yeah. that get a little confusing? That's what I'm I'm wondering. I'm just trying to th- think of the other kind of pot business financial podcasts that are out there, and most of them tend to just go kind of like consecutive number, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, but like podcasts that are like stories or comedy or that type of thing tend to go in seasons, seasons. right? Yeah. 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 I I know some podcasts. I think the podcast will make a return, but it might be a few weeks yet. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. You know, it's it's a little cold. It might it might have to wait till you know, <laughs> yeah. the other one's up a little bit. Yeah, the, the the microphone has issues when it's when it's a little too chilly. That's right. Yeah, and that's that's it's what it is. Chilly. No, yeah. I've just I've just been um, I've 
like I've been t telling you before, before you hit yeah. the go button, you know, it's been really, really busy. So I've just, you know, there's only so many hours in the day and yeah. it's, uh, you know, I enjoy doing the podcast, but at the end of the day, but I, I went through and actually added up how much time it takes me for each podcast. By the time I do everything, it's like six or eight hours. Yeah. No, you know, I, by the time I, I plan it, write down what I'm going to do, go through it. Yeah. I mean, and that's, uh, um, it's a lot. So I have to kind of reallocate resources to make sure to see if it's really worthwhile to keep doing. I think it is, but it might be a while before I can do it, before I jump back into it. It, it's so. tough and it, you know it's it's one reason why i i really basically well i guess you know I, I i i could say slow down but yeah that's that's an understatement isn't it i mean i i just pretty much kind of do a review whenever i kind of feel like it yeah because you know, it's, it's different when it's just because you enjoy doing it it's a passion thing but for me yeah, every hour i spend doing that is an hour less i'm generating revenue somewhere else whether it's working with clients or or that type of thing so uh you know if, if i don't uh, the business doesn't grow then there's no there's no share beer there's no other fun stuff so. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> no that flows from that <laughs> yeah it, well we we all operate on that sort of deal too yep. you know my time exactly. is very very limited Oh you yeah. Know, uh, the, the more I do this, the more I don't sleep, which is mm -hmm. could lead to other dangerous sorts of things. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes. I mean, yes, it's it's a balancing act. I mean, just like with your money, you got to balance what what comes in, what goes out. And where whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! I was going to ask you if I should lose my man card for this. Oh my! Oh, what did he do? God. I didn't see it. It He's tastes delicious. Putting a beer on the show live. It is delicious. Oh. What is it? I'm putting lime in a pilsner. Oh, oh, oh. good. Oh. He's fruiting. Do not fruit. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Elizabeth. <laughs> 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 no, actually, lime does go well in, you know. You like it? Slices it does go well in those beers. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> well, time. no, just to win it, Joe, I'm going to stick up for Tom here. It is an under four ranking. So, That's, I mean, okay. so it's okay. A, okay. You know, so, so it's he's got a little more room to to abuse the beer a bit by putting some lime in it. That's, yeah, that's, it's that's a desperate true. attempt to get it up to a four. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Four yeah, four yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Sadiq said and pinky out. You know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Oh. Oh yeah! <laughs> All it's missing is an umbrella, bro. You know. Maybe a little bit of print in there. You know I, used, I, used, I know <laughs> plenty of women, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna make a beer." And you're like, "You're gonna make a beer? What?" You know. And they go over and they get this huge glass, and they crush a ton of ice, and they put a beer. You know what I'm saying? Tons of lime. They take like a whole lime tree and they put it in there. I'm like, that's anything but a beer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. yep. The ice is worse than the lime, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you, I don't know what that is, but it's not a beer anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, you know, that's a little, uh, you know, a little couple drops of beer added to your lime juice there. That's about mm -hmm. it, you know? It's like a lime marita. Yeah, yeah. It's basically a lime marita is what you did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would actually rather have a lime marita right now than this. <laughs> well, of course, you know, lime marita is, uh, you know, the, one of the best adult beverages around, you know. It is. When you're in the mood for it, it hits the spot, man. So how many how many beverage. dilly dilly commercials do you think are out there now? I, th I can think of at least four or five. There was the original right. one. There was the pit of misery. Yeah. One where he escapes and comes back. Yeah. And then there was the one where where the wizard or whatever turns it yeah. into yeah. It makes more yeah. stuff. There's three. And then there yeah. was the Super Bowl tickets. Yeah, that's four. And then there's uh there's another one. Um there, there is another one. Yeah, there's a bunch of those dilly dilly commercials right now. Uh, uh, let, yeah. let, let's Google. Let me see. And you, they're going to come out with a they're going to come out with a different one for the Super Bowl, I'm sure, but it's probably not going to be as good as the original. I'm sure because what didn't the original come out last Super Bowl? Isn't that when that came out? No, it didn't. It came out. Was it in the it summer? Out, 
came out like mid year. Yeah, in the summer or something like that. Okay. You would think it would be in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but they're they're you know they've got a a new version of that for the Super Bowl somewhere, and it's probably not going to be as good. Mm. But I've noticed the last couple of years the commercials haven't been up to par from the recent years. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, it changes. Yeah, well, the, yeah it's, everybody watches it for the commercials now, so they. I don't we've know. got, I we've got. Um, okay, the Bud Light Wizard, uh, Pit of Misery Part Four. You've got the Super Bowl tickets as Part Three. The Pit of Misery sequel. Yeah, there's two Pit of Miseries. That's what it is. Oh, okay. There's two pit pits of uh of mis of misery. Yeah, that's the one we were missing. Yep. 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 So there, that I saw that story below where they think it's uh, trying to make it uh, Game of Thrones type. Yeah, where people are paying homage to the king. You know, they bring <laughs> yeah. up their. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talking about Game of Thrones, there's a um, there's like a pop up shop. Oh, Sadiq had a good one. Did you see that? Uh, if they hire Janet, they can do a titty titty commercial. Oh, <laughs> titty titty. <laughs> So, a, so a pop-up Game of Thrones store? They're doing a uh, pop-up Game of Thrones pub. Oh. And they're going around. It's in Boston right now for one month. I want to go out there. But I guess they were in Washington, D.C. They're in Boston. So I guess they're like they're popping around the country. Oh, hmm. wow. Or, really? Well, it's be like pure Where? Game of Thrones. Pop-up Game of Thrones brewery? Pub, like a bar. Oh. And they're like, oh. it's supposed to be like just like, I don't know how, I, I've never been there, but I know it's supposed to be pretty authentic. So they'd probably be serving like ale and mead and yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Now, when does season eight come out? Is that going to come out later on this year? Is that what they're thinking? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. We're almost done with season six, so we'll be done. We'll be done with season seven by the end of February, probably. Yeah, I, I just don't have to wait a while. I'm at like season two. I'm way behind, but I know there's enough time for me to catch up at least. Oh yeah, no, you're you're. Yeah. What what's your thought? Good show, do you think? You like it? Oh, it's an awesome show. Yeah. It's just it, it it's a type of show you can't get emotionally to one character because they're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Don't get too emotionally involved with anyone because you just never know. <laughs> yeah, they are not afraid to uh... although there's a few characters where you just hope they get killed faster than they do sometimes. And they don't. <laughs> yeah. But there are a few that there are a few that you know are gonna get killed. And they yeah. do. Yeah, I've got some. Spo- I've, I've watched like later episodes and got a little spoiler alerts, but it's still cool. It's still a cool show. Oh yeah, no, it's it's a very well done show. I mean, it's uh, they put a lot of money into it. It's well done. The uh, uh, cinematography is great. The characters are good. Yeah, they choose the right areas to film. Mm-hmm. So the, the, it, it, it's crazy. It looks like that's something from Oma Gang, of course. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because Oma Gang is the so you've got this one. This is uh, <clears throat> so this is the old and a slightly older piece. Uh, okay. You know, Game of Thrones theme open yeah. bar uh, in DC. So, and this is you know August twenty seventh. Oh, wow. um, cool. So they got the oh the faces. You haven't gotten there yet, Tom, but you will. I want. I want to go over there. Yeah, the Goat Pub is a joint effort between Oma Gang Brewery and Drink Company, the same company that bought a Stranger Things and Mario, a uh, Super Mario theme pop up bars uh, to DC. Huh. Uh, I want to see because you said it was touring, right? Um, look at this is cool as hell. Look at that. Yeah. Mm hmm. That yep. is awesome. If that's pop up, man, that is, yeah, yeah, because I keep seeing people sitting on this throne. On the throne, yeah. I'd I'd go if it was in Atlanta. I'd go. Oh, Why not? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely go if it was get here a, in Phoenix. Get, a, uh, get an Oma Gang and if it's they must, they must get a picture special. on the throne. I'd do that and the sword. I'd hold. The, I'd hold up. I'd hold up a, a, a Valerian steel sword and. There must be a schedule somewhere. Yeah, there must be a schedule somewhere. Uh, um, yeah, this is man. You, you got me super curious now because yeah. I would definitely like to. Uh, they do. I think they do it month by month. 
Huh. Huh. Yeah, I would I would think Atlanta would be on the list, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, a place like yeah, if Boston's on the list, you would imagine mm-hmm. Atlanta. Sometimes uh uh um uh Maybe oh, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Right. Some sometimes Phoenix makes those kind of uh-huh. yeah. uh, things, but uh yeah, that would yeah. be I'm, I'm That'd be check awesome. that out. I would def- I would definitely do that for an afternoon. That would be fun. Yeah, because I know the beer they serve is good. If it's Elma Gang, it's decent beer. Yeah, I've had a couple of them now. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I I saw I I thought I saw another one, but I didn't. I just didn't want to buy it. You know what I'm saying? I just uh-huh. didn't want yep. to. Uh, I was buying a lot of beer at the time anyway. So all I keep seeing is stuff on this uh, the DC one. Um. Mm. Yeah, they, I think they started. Yeah, they started January first in Boston, I believe. And I guess it goes a whole month. And I, I imagine they're on to the next right after that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's, hard. Just a cool, it's just a cool, mm-hmm. cool night out. Something that you enjoy. Yeah, it's and it's, it's great race. marketing too. I mean, you know, you go to the large markets and keeps mm. people keeps people thinking about Game of Thrones. You know, because it's. Uh, it's going to be a while before the next one comes out, but if people haven't heard of it and they go there and they like it, then they end up going and watching all of the other ones. So mm-hmm. they sign up for HBO or whatever. And I mean, the smart gang too, because I, I mean, everywhere I go, I see those beers on the shelf. Every oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are people buying them. Yeah. So, no, the yeah. Uh, the lady when we went there and we took the tour. Um, the, the Game of Thrones beers aren't their most popular, but they're pretty close. I mean, you know, it's like every time a new one gets released, I mean, it a lot of uh, gets a lot of uh, notice. So I mean, a lot of people just buy them to collect them. Mm-hmm. Some people don't even drink them; they just let them sit there. Yep, exactly. I remember, uh, when I used to work at a liquor store, I used to do all the boxes and everything. And I remember I kept the box, the Game of Thrones box. It looked cool, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just to have it. Yep. Oh, I'm I'm super bummed, man. I can't find anything on this thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, literally can't find anything on it. it. It's really annoying. I know they I know they pick like certain bars and they I don't know. I guess they go there. Yeah, this is. Uh, Boston King. Oh. Yeah, this is that's really a. Uh, well, we'll just keep our ear to the ground and hopefully we'll find something on that because that. You know that that combines. Uh, I just typed in Boston Game of Thrones bar and it just popped up. Hmm. Yeah, and see that sucks. Let's see. I'm gonna type in Atlanta Game of Thrones bar and see maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Hmm. There's the Bookhouse Pub now. Crawl of Thrones, Battle and Brew. No, maybe Open King has it on the website. Yeah, that might be. That might be yeah. true. Viewing parties. Uh, Where's this? Oh, this is in. Ooh, that's a new bar I wasn't aware of. Oh, I'll check that Let's out. The Bookhouse Pub. Yeah, cool. Being in Atlanta, there must be a ton of stuff to do out there. There's a fair amount. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta's a big city. I mean, there's yeah. 5 million people here or whatever, so. This yeah. Siri makes no sense sometimes. A lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Siri's so behind Alexa or Cortana. I mean, I feel like Siri, I don't know. I feel like you can ask more questions to Alexa than you can to Siri. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What are you guys doing? Huh? What is, yeah, see, because this is, I'm not finding anything on Oma Gang. I mean, this sucks. I hate hearing that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm like, just like, damn. <laughs> okay, cafe and tours. Yes, I'm 21. Give me a break. What difference? Does that make? <laughs> How to take a tour with us? Okay, that's fine. But okay, uh, so I think I found a link. Wait a minute. They always have Game of Thrones. Oh, let's see. Well, here's here's their Game of Thrones link. Let me see. So. Yeah, see, here's all the different brews they have. So they have the uh, Iron Throne, uh, Three-Eyed Raven. I think that's the one I've had. Yeah. Uh, Take the Black Stout, uh, Seven Kingdoms, Fire and Blood, 
uh, Valor, what is that? Dora, yes. How do you say? That? Oh, Valor, yeah. Uh, and then crazy. all men yeah. must die. Yeah. And, oh, and Valor. Bend the knee. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, if, if it's not here, I don't know where to. Yeah, that that's kind of no. It's not your fault. I mean, that you know, if they're if they're doing a tour, you would think they would, you know, yeah. Make it easier to find, uh, you know, even if yeah. it is month by month. I now mean, go to the drink company. That's because that's the the one that's actually doing it. You know, they're like the uh, they're like the event promoter, I guess. Yeah, drink company pop up bar. I uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. They're out of Washington D.C. Oh, okay. So, Pop up. so let me, huh. let me share the, kind of... the screen here again. Um, oh well, you know it's it can't, it can't be very yeah. entertaining watching uh, Google searches. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, um, I your ship's just shot through the roof right now. Know. <laughs> <laughs> right for a yeah. worldwide sensation. Yeah. Yeah, Neri's <laughs> saying, "Hey, show me the smoke, man." You know, yeah. What's, what's up with that? You know, take it to another smoke level. You know, <laughs> he, he's putting out the challenge out there. Man. Mm -hmm. Un, you know, unfortunately for me, my next beer is a canned beer, so I'm not going to be able to have any smoke. Yeah. Hey, once in a while though, you do. I, I get some smoke out <clears throat> once in a blue moon. I can tell you though, uh, gentlemen, the search is over. I have found it. And what is it? I have been on the search for probably six months now. And I have finally found the perfect toilet paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to find the perfect toilet paper? Right? It is. It's, it's very hard to find the perfect toilet paper. Now, mind you... Prior to this search, the perfect toilet paper was Costco's toilet paper. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's what I, we've been using for years. I have to admit, it was pretty good. But since I'm not going to Costco, it's been difficult to find that perfect paper. <laughs> and, you know, you go through <laughs> a lot of different papers trying to find the right one because mm -hmm. you don't want anything too thick. Nothing yep. too thin, and no, uh, you know, I definitely air on more thick than. Thin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're you gonna go, any, you don't want any. Let's just say we don't want any pop up toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pop you through. Know. Yeah, yes. you don't want any pop throughs, man. No, mm. no, that's no bueno. No you know, bueno, you know, right there. Soft and supple. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's got to be. You know, there's that perfect little. It, you know, in between right there, right? You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it got to be strong enough to handle the business. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, so, yeah, finally, I, it, I went through a few different Walmart brands and, and finally found the right one that, you know. Okay. Now, which one is it? Yeah. It's, oh, Tell the people. Right? No. I don't even know if you can name it because, it, you know, they have these super generic uh it's the Walmart one that has the green on the label. I don't know how else to describe okay. it, really. So you know like what I'm a, is it their Earth-friendly version? Yeah, because they all say, well, yeah, this yeah. one's septic safe. Septic safe, okay. And, yeah, there you go. And it has the green on the label. And it's, uh, you know, soft and strong, I think it says on the front. Oh, okay, <laughs> soft and strong. <laughs> Just like I like my men, soft and strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Dilly dilly. <laughs> <laughs> Show title, just like I like my men. Huh? Soft and strong. <laughs> Sadiq says, so, so is it better than Kirkland? <sighs> Is it better priced yeah. than Kirkland? You know, there's a lot of people that rate toilet paper. Okay. Okay. We're yeah, I'm sure this. there is. Yeah. We're, we're doing this. They uh, need to have like toilet paper trial packs. Let me see. Uh, awesome. <laughs> top 10 uh, 
uh, toilet uh, papers, right? Do you remember the toilet paper when you had at school? Like the one mm-hmm. ply? Oh. Oh, Jesus. I no, think, no, no. I think one ply ends up being costing more because you got to double it up more to get, yeah. you know. I'm not using one ply, one ply thick. I'm, I'm double <laughs> or triple. I normally double fold two plies, so I'm quadruple the, fold. The ply. thinnest toilet paper ever, okay, the thinnest toilet paper ever is when you go to an Arizona – rest area i promise you even <laughs> the sh- even the pages in the bible go damn that's thin son you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean it is so th- you can like see through it you know what i'm saying it yeah. takes like the whole i don't know why they bother because it takes like the whole roll just to you know what yeah, i'm saying that's what i say they end up wasting more i think just to just to get anything done <clears throat> so according to google <laughs> Here's the top five. We've got uh, White Cloud Ultra Strong and Soft Toilet Paper, uh, 12 okay. rolls, 1026, Walmart, uh, Cottonelle Extra, Comfort Care. Uh, okay, comfort Care, that sounds good. And that's uh, 11, uh, 823 on jet.com. Uh-huh. Uh, Charmin Ultra Soft, uh, 1623. Okay. No tax okay. on a reliable paper. Uh, Kirkland. So Kirkland number four. There you go. Solid, Solid number four. four. 30 rolls, 425 sheets, 1899 Google Express. Yeah. Uh, and then Charmin. This, see, this is the problem. There's so many different little. It's like buying a mattress, for Christ's sake. Mm-hmm. Or okay. buying tires, you know? Office different Depot. version for every retailer. Yep. Yeah. People sell toilet paper. Yes, I did not. Oh know yeah, dude. Uh, Office Depot sells food. Really? Yep. Yeah, they yeah. sell like uh, all like break room stuff. Yeah. I, yeah, oh. I got news for you. Yeah, because you, you think about, hey, <clears throat> can you seriously ha- run a business without toilet paper? Yeah. Touche. <laughs> It'd be a pretty crappy business. Yeah. <laughs> the liquor store I used to work at, the guy would never have toilet paper in the bathroom. Like, oh, here you go. Okay, this is the best one, right? Because you got goodhousekeeping.com. Okay. This is their top 20 list. Here you go. Ooh. Right? Ooh. Now, now, how do we know which one's number one here? Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we don't have any idea. This is just their top 20 list. And Kirkland's, you know, that's what I was going to say. That's what got me to do this because I've been hearing about Kirkland's bath tissue, like they like to say, going down the ratings. Like it's not as highly oh. rated as it used to be. What is huh. Because they're saying that there's other TPs that are uh, better uh, and less expensive, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard this, but... How do we know is okay? So yeah, is I, mean, this I one... think you need to do a side by side comparison. <laughs> you know what, Joe? And I think I think it depends on the material that the paper is wiping. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's gonna dump the bear reviews and start doing toilet paper. Reviews. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's gonna get made to smoke. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, that was good. Mark, where were you on that one, man? Mm. Oh, my God. I missed huh? I was distracted. What did he say? Major smoke? Yes. <laughs> that was excellent. So, anyway, these I don't even – I don't know how to rate these because they don't tell you which one is number one. Oh, this is 2011, for Christ's sake. Oh, Oh, wait a Paper minute. Paper technology has advanced in the last six years. I would say. Okay, do you remember that Seinfeld episode? Am I the only one that knows that Seinfeld episode? Where you know, Because Costanza, that's all he talks about is toilet paper. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> he, um, yeah, that, it is so Seinfeld. Oh, okay, so these were 2017. Oh, I know the one you're okay. talking about. He said that uh, he, he meets that girl. Yeah. He tells her how, how toilet paper hasn't, hasn't changed for the last Yes, years. yes. Yes, exactly. And she loves him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then you, and then know. he goes back to Jerry's apartment and he's trying to tell Jerry about the conversation. And him and Elaine are like, what are you talking about? Toilet paper's changed. Different colors. 
It's a, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it, it, okay, okay, already it's changed. Um, so since this is August 2000, well, I don't know. Do we go by the? This is a little, you know. Come on, uh, how am I supposed to trust you guys, man? Uh, you know, get get with. Oh, Consumer Reports. Here we go. There we go. Yep. Recommended toilet paper. Click the link right, yeah, there. right there. We go. That's the one. Oh, they want you to subscribe. What I usually do if I'm looking for something, I like to read. It's going to sound bad, but I like to read the worst review to understand what they went through. You know, sometimes the worst review <laughs> tells you what's really wrong with the product. Oh, maybe that's just me. There you go. High quality toilet paper comes cheap. Clark Howard. Yeah, this is Clark Howard. So let's see. Let's see. It, it, Clark, you, you got to watch it with Clark Howard, right? Because he does not mind using seconds and, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, let me oh, see. White Cloud Ultra Soft and Thick. Yeah. And then Walmart. Walmart exclusive here. Consumer Reports says the best toilet paper in America is a Walmart exclusive White Cloud Ultra Soft and Thick. Ooh. Boom! At 25 cents per 100 sheets, White Cloud got a higher score of, 11, uh, of 77 based on softness, strength, uh, disintegration, and tearing ease. In a distant <laughs> second is Nice Premium Ultra Walgreens. Wow. Got a score of 50, uh, 57 at a cost of 33 cents. He kind of did a good job here, didn't he? In yeah. third place, uh, Scott Extra Soft scored a 53 uh, and cost 20 cents. Um, White, Cloud Al White Cloud Ultra Strong and Soft Walmart and Quilted Northern Ultra Plush came in fourth and fifth with scores of 52 and 50, respectively. Uh, the White Cloud cost 27 and the uh, Quilted Northern 43. Costco's Kirtland signature checked in with a mediocre score of 37, though it cost only 13 cents. Yeah. Almost the cheapest brand sam sample. But it only scored a 37, which is, you know, you, you want that 77. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right? The, yes, the but. Are you willing to pay more, almost twice as much for a seventy-seven no, over a thirty-seven? That's... No, no pun intended on that, right? On that, but it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So it's you know, which way do you go on that, right? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, they, they, they did a good uh, a good job on that one right there. And you can kind of see how they how they did their quality testing right there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, th this is, you know, and, and I don't have to tell you how this is beer-related, do I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, uh, you know, <laughs> it will be relevant. So, um, yeah, that's the... <laughs> I finally, uh, you know found my perfect i think i think tp is one of those deals where we all have a slightly different preference possibly so oh yeah, oh, yeah definitely you know, um you know that's uh uh oh yeah i've got some other subjects so i'll save them for other shows but um i guess there's there's new diet cokes out there um and then mm. I, I had some uh questions on um uh, um security and stuff like that other things that aren't necessarily beer related but just kind of fun to talk about um but that's it for this show guys thank you to everybody that tuned in uh yep. we had neary sadiq uh i'm i'm sure uh you know this is a worldwide show and and, and tp is definitely a worldwide topic what what's what what is interesting though is from some of the videos that i have watched uh over you know time on youtube uh, how much the toilet issue comes up depending on what country people are in and their different <clears throat> uh, 
restroom practices, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's pretty interesting to see how many countries use water and no paper at all and, uh, and how they view America that way. They're like, oh, please use water. They always say in their videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, oof, yeah, use water. <laughs> <laughs> and when they kind of put it that way, I was like, yeah, why do we? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because, you mm -hmm. know, over here, it's kind of like, I, I've never watered like mm -hmm. that before. You know what I'm saying? Did, I don't have any of you guys watered. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, uh, no, curious. I, don't think, I don't think so. No. Because you always hear people when, like, when they go to Japan, for instance, and they always come back, man, those toilets, right? Like, they're like, you know. <laughs> So it's kind of, and, and we get a lot of those uh, fancy toilets at work, uh, you know, that people are shipping uh, to and from, if you will. So, yeah, we, you know, it's always kind of like, wow, look at all the stuff that toilet does. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wonder how much that thing costs. Like when you got to plug your toilet into something, you know, yeah. I'm not necessarily used to that. And then in one of my, you know how Amazon will throw random stuff at you. And, and, and lately it's been popping up this, uh, you know what the squirters look like on your kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. Imagine that squirter on your toilet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know what. what you know. <laughs> hey, we're brainstorming here. <laughs> I'm just, you know. And so, <laughs> since I, you know how Amazon is. So, since I clicked on it, I mean, when you see a sprayer and it's connected to the toilet, I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't mm -hmm. ever click on it, I promise you, because then you're done. You're done. You will get more toilet stuff than you ever imagined in your life. So now my Amazon feed is a mixture of toilet spray and stuff or photography. It's crazy. Those are related. Everything's related to the toilet. It is bottom line, right? Everything. Yeah. Everything, right? Because sooner or later, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> It's uh, uh. so anyway, guys, we're out of here. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. No show next Friday. Next Friday, no show. No bueno. Okay. Show. Um. So, yeah, and but we will see you Tuesday, uh, right here, 7 p.m. Eastern, and uh, yeah, next Friday, no show. Uh, but uh, we'll probably do a Sunday coffee show morning coffee show uh anybody interested in that you're more than willing to check it out okay all right guys thanks cool. tom mark we'll see you, see you tom peace out Bye.